going to cut it. Control X. And since I'm on the color layer, if I paste it there on the color layer, it now moves from the top layer, which is the drawing layer, and goes to the color layer. And if I put a colored shape on top of it, that covers it up. So it's still a continuous line, but it is covered by the color, colored shape that's on his nose. Okay, and this one I'm going to do the same thing with this chest uh, outline. Cut it and then paste it into the color layer. Now I'm going to make the colored shape for the hand. There it is. Push and pull to get it into the appropriate shape of the area. Zoom in so we can see it a little more clearly and tweak it so it fits better. And as you can see now that color is on the same layer as the line for his chest covers up that line. But it's still a continuous line so you can tweak it or change the shape of it however you want. Now I'll select a brown color for his hair. And on this part here I'm going to go all the way around and actually overlap onto the flesh tone. And then I'm going to take that colored shape and put it to the back so it's behind the colored layer. So this little part of his hair. And you see that line that's, let me tweak it a little bit, you see the line that's on top of it which should actually be behind. I'm going to cut that. It's on the drawing layer and now I'm on the color layer so I paste it there and then I select that little piece of brown hair and I move it to the front. And there are shortcut keys for moving things forward and backward, but I also wanted to let you see where they're located up there in the uh, menu. There's a white shape for his teeth. Let's find a nice pink color for his tongue. go. Let's go back to the brown for his hair. I'm going to use this tool so I can click just wherever I want a control point around the shape to get to the be beginning point. And then you push and pull so that this brown color fills the space. I'm going to select the fill tool and I want to make it dark at the bottom and then the brown at the top. So I click and drag and then I, with the bottom node selected, I click on the color line on black and then I click on the top node and I can move it in whatever position I want. Let's move the color editor over a little bit so I can change the brown color of the top node and the bottom node and adjust the direction of the fill as well as the color. Okay, now I would like to put a little shadow underneath his jaw. So here I'll draw the shape. Let's change the color. Tweak it a little bit so it fits. Go over to the transparency tool and I'll put a linear fill just by clicking and dragging. At the top, there's no transparency, it's zero, but at the bottom it's completely transparent. So you can click and drag and move it around. It's totally interactive. So you get it exactly how you like it. Okay, and this, I already have the completed colored in illustration. There it is, the whole thing. Let's put this to the back. So it's in the right position. Zoom in a little bit, and that's how I do my cartoons in Zara Extreme. Thanks for watching.